Tinkler joins me now. Coach, as I've mentioned, a very high tempo game. You said you wanted to continue on that trot in terms of your wins and you've done exactly that. Yeah, exactly. As I said in my pre-match meeting with you that this was going to be a tough game. You know, it's a team that's obviously fighting for its life and it's a good team. I think, you know, they've got some very, very good players coached by a very, very good coach. And I'm sure, you know, moving forward, they'll, they'll get themselves out of the predicament that they're in. But for us, it was important to come here, be resilient, play at that intensity that you mentioned, play with a lot of energy, but most importantly, you know, play with a lot of confidence and self-belief. You know, we had one or two very good chances in the first half where we should have scored and we didn't take those opportunities. And unfortunately, in this game, you'll, be, you'll get punished if you don't take your opportunities. One silly mistake from us in the second half, we give a ball the way poorly and, and they score from it. You know, they were dangerous from, from the wide areas once or twice. They were dangerous from the corners. We spoke about fixing that at half time. But again, you know, another resilient performance from, from the team. Not pretty. At times, you know, especially that last 15 minutes, we needed to try and put our foot on the ball a little bit better in order to retain possess possession because we end up absorbing a lot of pressure and, you know, anything can happen. So a little bit disappointed in that area, but the effort from everybody, the energy and the intensity that we needed tonight, they all produced it. The Gouda being suspended for Marisburg seemed to work to your advantage. Well, actually, no, because, believe it or not, we planned that they were going to play with a back three. Uh, we knew Ndengani would come in and our strategy at the beginning was obviously looking to press that, that back three. And that wasn't the case. They ended up playing with a back four and that's, that's Fadlu. Fadlu will always throw you know, different things every game. You know, so you've got to be on your feet. Luckily we saw that, we identified that you know, quite early on and, and made the players aware that, hold on, you know, it's, it's slightly different. Got to be wary now with Joster playing on the, on the wing and Ali Meza playing on the wing. You know, those are the two dangerous men. And then obviously, you know, the, the, the boy up front can, can be a handful. So, but I thought we dealt with him quite well. Once or twice in the second half, we're looking to try and get in front and he turns us and, and he can be a threat from that. But, you know, overall, can't fault the boys. Tata Mokeke misses the next game. How much of an impact will that be for you? Well, we said it with uh, you know, when we lost Mbina, when we've lost Mkise, you know, we've lost a few guys. We've got quite a few guys that have been on, obviously, three yellows, you know, but we don't think about that. Literally, we, we think, play our strongest team, Tato's out, you know, we, 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 we believe in the squad that we have and everybody must step up tonight. The young boy, Patrick Fisher, you know, uh, Keanu went off and Patrick Fisher came in and, you know, you've you got to be brave enough to, to make those decisions and... There were periods where he struggled a bit, but I saw some positives, you know, so that's what happens when you've got a small squad. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you.